Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Cheney from Living Health Integrative Medicine, and I'm here to review today with you the difference between type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and some of the other types of diabetes that we're actually discovering. Type 1 diabetes is generally something we refer to as juvenile diabetes. We find it more in the younger population. It is actually autoimmunity uh, or inflammation against the pancreas to the point where the individual becomes insulin dependent. So the pancreas stops functioning and stops producing insulin and you will actually need insulin in that case. Type 2 diabetes is generally found more in the adult population but unfortunately in the last 10 years to 20 years or so we are now finding children as young as 8, 9, and 10 coming down with type 2 insulin resistant diabetes and what that means is the pancreas is still functioning it's still producing um, insulin we're not seeing an autoimmune or an immune response against the pancreas but the system as a whole is not responding well to insulin and therefore sugar is not easily taken up into the tissues and the cells but rather it keeps circulating and building up in the blood uh, which is very very damaging to brain nerve and other organ systems so there's a combination of type 1 and type 2 diabetes that we're starting to find more and more in the adult population. We used to think that the adult population never really had type 1 diabetes or um, a destruction of the pancreas, but what we're finding more and more in our patients that come in for our type 2 diabetes reversal program is that they may be a combination of both type 2 and type 1. They call it type 1.5 or LADA latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. And what happens is something triggers your immune system to turn on the pancreas. Sometimes it's a genetic predisposition in concert with an infection or food intolerances or other mechanisms at play that cause your immune system to destroy the pancreas. It usually is a progressive situation where Six years after the onset of the diagnosis, generally you will be fully insulin dependent. Um, but an individual that has LADA may be not only losing pancreas function and becoming insulin dependent, but may also have systemic insulin receptor problems, which is insulin resistance. So this is a situation where we have a combination of the two. It is very, very important that you be tested thoroughly to determine if you have type 1, 1 1.5, or type 2 diabetes. And we do that um, initially in our program in order to determine the best course of action to help reverse the diabetes. In type 1, we are not able to fully reverse the type 1 diabetes. If full and complete destruction of the pancreas has occurred and you are insulin dependent, then what we do is we can work with you to help you balance your sugars, minimize the need for insulin, and prevent type 2 diabetes or type 1.5 from occurring, basically helping you prevent insulin resistance. For more information on how we reverse type 2 diabetes and help people with type 1 diabetes better regulate their sugars naturally with diet and supplementation, please call our office at 410-216-9180 and ask for more information on our educational seminars to learn how to reverse diabetes.